Anguttara Nikaya 3.15 Rathakara Sutta, the chariot maker At one time the Blessed One was staying near Varanasi in the deer park at Isipatana. There he spoke to the monks. Monks. Yes, Bhante, the monks replied. The Blessed One said, Once, monks, there was a king named Pasitana. One day King Pasitana said to his chariot maker, My good chariot maker, in six months' time from now there will be a battle. Can you make me a new pair of chariot wheels? Yes, your majesty, I can, the chariot maker replied to the king. Then, six days before the six months were over, the chariot maker finished one wheel. King Pasitana said to him, In six days from now the battle will take place. Will the pair of chariot wheels be finished? Your Majesty, in these six months, minus six days, I have finished one wheel. But can you finish the second wheel in these six days? Yes, Your Majesty, I can, the chariot maker replied to the king. Then, after finishing the second wheel in six days, the chariot maker took the pair of wheels to the king, and when he arrived, said to him, Here is your new pair of chariot wheels, all finished, Your Majesty. And what is the difference between your wheel that took almost six months to finish, and your wheel that took six days to finish? I don't see any difference between them. There is a difference between them, Your Majesty. Look at the difference. Then the chariot maker took the chariot wheel finished in six days, and set it rolling. Going as far as its momentum carried it, it spun around and fell to the ground. But then he took the chariot wheel finished in almost six months, and set it rolling. Going as far as its momentum carried it, it stood still, as if it were fixed on an axle. Now, what is the reason, my good chariot maker? What is the cause? Why is it that the chariot wheel finished in six days, when set rolling, goes as far as its momentum carries it, and then, spinning around and around, it falls to the ground? And what's the reason, what is the cause, why is it that the chariot wheel that took almost six months to finish, when set rolling, it goes as far as its momentum carries it, and then stands still, as if fixed on an axle? Your Majesty, for the wheel finished in six days, its rim is crooked, with faults and flaws. Its spokes are crooked, with faults and flaws. Its hub is crooked, with faults and flaws. Because its rim, spokes and hub are crooked, with faults and flaws, when set rolling, it goes only as far as its momentum carries it, and then, spinning around and around, falls to the ground. But as for the wheel finished in almost six months, its rim is not crooked with no faults or flaws, its spokes are not crooked with no faults or flaws, and its hub is not crooked, it has no faults or flaws. Because of this, when set rolling, it goes as far as its momentum carries it, and then stands still as if fixed on an axle. Now, monks, you might think that I am telling a story about a different person, but it should not be seen that way. I myself was the chariot maker at that time. I was skilled in dealing with the crookedness, the faults, and the flaws of wood. Now I am a worthy one, rightly self-awakened, skilled in dealing with the crookedness, faults, and flaws of physical action, skilled in dealing with the crookedness, faults and flaws of actions of speech, skilled in dealing with the crookedness, faults and flaws of actions of thought. If any monk or nun has not given up the crookedness, faults and flaws of bodily action, has not given up the crookedness, faults and flaws of verbal action of speech, if they have not given up the crookedness, faults and flaws of actions of thought, then they fall away from this dhamma and discipline, just like the wheel finished in six days. But any monk or nun who gives up the crookedness, faults and flaws of physical action, gives up the crookedness, faults and flaws of actions of speech, and gives up the crookedness, faults and flaws of actions of thought, then they are standing straight and strong in this dhamma and discipline just like the wheel finished in almost six months. 
In this way you should train yourselves. We will give up crookedness, faults and flaws in physical action. We will give up crookedness, faults and flaws in actions of speech. We will give up crookedness, faults and flaws in actions of thought. That is how you should train yourselves.